Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Bob back, and we are going to go through some of the stuff I bought at Dollar Tree. These, this receipt I actually saved from it because um, they were super nice to me and actually said, hey, this is when we're going to get it. So you can tell I bought supper there too, or some stuff, hunts, tomatoes, or whatever. But anyways, uh, that's from these cards. Um, so we're going to save those because I, like, um, really appreciate, you know, when someone's actually nice, it's hard to find nice people out. And then these ones on here, you can't even, I have this, this is Dollar General. So I want to talk about this, uh, $5 off 25. I've done this once. So sometimes if you know, like a store has whatever, you can come back. This is from Dollar General. Um, they do it every Saturday. You can see this one's from the 12th, which is coming up. That's this next Saturday. So, and that's from this deck. Um, but first, I have lost these, like, uh, a few times. And these come from Walmart. We got a Rayquaza, a Celebi. I have to turn my other light out. And a Sobel. Come on, focus. There we go. So, um, they each have, one has Cosmic Eclipse, Rebel Class, and Vivid Voltage. So, I think for this one at least, I'm going to open up the Rayquaza pack. Let's see. Can I turn this? There we go. That's better. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, I can open up the Rayquaza pack and um, see what I can get from it. So, let's, uh, let's check it out. But um, thanks for um, tuning in. Um, I do have, I did find my trusty Leatherman Mutt. Oh, Charizard decides he's going to just sit down. Anyway, <clears throat> and it was uh, buried in one of the totes that we came from. You know what? I might, uh, my, here's my Leatherman Mutt. Yay. I love this. One of the best multi-tools that you can buy, in my opinion, obviously. Um, so, um, first off we have this rebel clash set which i thought the ones from this is the one from the dollar general sword and shield right and i thought they were different you can see it has this little um hole where they uh put it up on the little rail thing and then the ones from rebel clash actually come in a white box like you've seen before so that's how you can kind of tell the difference between the the two <clears throat> And then let's see if I can get this out of here without ripping apart. So we got those two Rebel Clash packs. We have the little coin and third pack. Boom. Okay. And then I don't know if this Rayquaza is wanting to come out. We do have the code card. So I, I think I should. I'm, I'm not going to show you right now. I want you to see in the video where it comes out at. But it is a... Oh, okay. It says Rebel Clash 3-pack. Let's see if I can show that just like this. See, it says Rebel Clash 3-pack Rayquaza. So, um, stay tuned because I'm going to shove that in the, the video here in a second. So, that's our first hollow. And I even have this nice little... Let me zoom in. I'm going to put these, like, probably right here. But first, I'm going to try these new sleeves that I got. Well, I didn't get. Zoe got. So... Uh, I'm gonna put them in here and they are much thicker kind of and it doesn't show off the hollow as much and uh, I just thought that I don't have a Rayquaza card so that's my first Rayquaza card so yay <clears throat> so that's that's that one all done but let's uh let's do one of these packs again this is from Walmart uh, I think they're like $13 roughly so We'll see what we can get here. Um, it's been a it's been a couple of days since I well <laughs> I'm just falling apart here. Let me move all this stuff around. Okay, so we got you know what this light. I don't know if it's doing any good. Is that gonna reflect? Sorry. And uh, let's try this. Let me move my chair. How about that? So, one, two, three, four. And we'll go like this. We got a steel type energy. And I have been cleaning, cleaning out a drawer in my uh, filing cabinet. 
and we're gonna start putting these energies in there. So, um, and all the other stuff that we get. So, interesting, but not like super. You know, just a just a general whatever. We got a Draylock, a Lamprit, Lamprit, a Applin. And I'm just I'm just knocking over everything today. We have a Temple. I have not seen that one before. And we have a Trubbish. Move my scissors out of the way too while we're at it. We have a Hetu 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 Tile something. That might be one that's um bell wants and we do have the tin on this side which you can't see but where that's gonna go in the tin boom we have a hoonage and another apple tin but this one is reverse hollow yay see that cool and we'll put that one right over here in our reverse hollow pile and our, our rare is a barnacle he's got a lot of claws going on i thought he i thought he had four arms he's got like a couple of legs like three arms and his head is a hand with claws on it uh rock hurl and hand press if you have more cards in your hand than your opponent does 80 more damage that's kind of cool so we're gonna put that in our rear section right over here and i did look at that look at it i did so good I'm, I'm proud of myself. Let's get rid of this into our big old vacuum. Okay, that's what we got. And uh, so that was, was that Rebel Clash? Yeah, so let's try, let's try this guy and see what we got in here. <clears throat> Hope everybody is good for Christmas, getting prepared for the C family. They haven't seen kind of exciting um i'm trying to keep i'm trying to keep all the trash out of the way so this one is from the dollar tree so let's see oh wow i think i messed that up we got a capture energy zoom in we have as long as this card is attached to a pokemon it provides regular type energy when you attach this card from your hand to a pokemon search your back deck from a basic pokemon put it into your, your bench then shuffle your deck wow that's kind of cool um i'm gonna give that one put it in the tin for bell we got another hoonage yeah <laughs> i just uh i realized that they had different packs out so that was what i was looking for and then oh we got a reverse hollow corsela and i think i saw that one in the other one too it's not too bad um let's see here let's put this right here and then let's do this pack here we definitely need to do some of the dollar general packs too because you can't just all do the same one and then not <clears throat> not know you know they will they will get not happy unhappy <laughs> yeah let's see i need to come up with a better system of throwing away my trash so one two three four and that goes to the front boom and we have a leaf type energy and let's see we got a metapod and i want to start i did buy uh sleeves this one is zero two so I'm actually going to set this one right up here because um, I'm going to try to make a book of them, if that makes sense. 152 out of 192. So I bought, the sleeves that I bought were from Walmart. Or not sleeves, but they're like uh, the nine pack. And uh, I got those. I did have one of these for Bell, so I'm going to put that with the Bell Squares too. But I did put... Um, I did buy a binder and I might try to put this set together. This is card 27, but it's a Growla, so it's a nice cat. It's a bell card. We got an imp. We got a, ooh, 
I have not seen this one. This one is the claymation one. Very interesting. Someone definitely took some time to make that. Uh, we got Burrow. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it only has 70 health. And it's 146. So that's definitely a bell card. So that goes in the tin. We got a print from. And, oh, a reverse hollow trainer. Is it rainbow? It is not rainbow. So this is a supporter card. Skyla. Search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and then put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Um, Bell might use that. That's a nice... I'm going to put this with the reverse hollows right now. And our hollow rare is a chandelier. 140 health. Protective glow. All of your Pokemon have energy attached to it. Have no weakness. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So, pretty interesting there. And then, let's see. So, <clears throat> that's it for that one. That one goes, that's kind of cool. Having it um, reverse hollow and a rare. So, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's try Dollar General. And, again, this I know that this is Dollar General because they have theirs hanging up. We also have a couple of these packs, uh, like Breakpoint. And I don't know really much what to do with them. Um, but they have two pack. I bought them when they were having a Black Friday. I did see the one had Evolutions, so we might have to crack that open a little bit later. Anyway. And there we go. Throw that in there. Whoop, I have it backwards. Oh, of course. Sandaconda. Um, that's one of the major drawbacks from Sword and Shield that I found. They have so many snakes, and it's crazy how many snakes actually, actually they uh, come out to. So, then we, what? What, this is, we got double, huh. this is the stage one, and then the basic, uh, silly, silly Cobra, and then we got a Seeking. Two snakes? Come on, guys. I'm being snaked up, set up, something like that. So, anyway, um, yeah, what, you know what, let's do, I see this one right on top. It has an XY Evolutions from Dollar, let me zoom out, from uh, Dollar General, has two packs in it, and these have, it's six cards, basically. So, let's, uh, let's take a stab at this one. I can get the thing open without ripping everything out. Okay. Oh, and it has uh, the other card. That's why I didn't open these before, because it has this one card, and I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah, and it's a very nice card. And it is a dew piter. So we go from snakes to spiders. That's how we roll, snakes and spiders. So, yeah, um, I don't know what that card, but that's the one we opened. Oh, it has two, it has double evolutions. It has two evolutions. Very excited. Okay, let's see what we get. Um, I don't even care if we get nothing out of it, but I, I do like, evolutions is my favorite. Well, it's, it's the ones I can pronounce. So, uh, it actually has four cards. This one doesn't do anything, so we're going to throw that over there. And then we're going to take this card, I think it still follows the same rule, and then flip it around. So we got a Poliwag. Very nice. 23 of 108. So I should, maybe I should do Evolution, start a um, file for Evolutions. Put that one here. I'm going to actually set it up on top of there so I can separate them. And then we have a Coughing. Oh! Reverse Hollow Polygon. That the hollow on this is just nuts and uh yeah so that was out of the blister pack so right now dollar general is kind of picking i i like that polygon card reverse hollow in the silver it's very nice it's very nice so, okay so let's get this get these two 
them away. <clears throat> A hush falls over the crowd. Ooh, Pikachu! It still has, as you can see, it still has the yellow cheeks, but still very nice Pikachu. 35 out of 108. Oh, we're gonna give that one to Belle. And we got a Magmar. Yay. And a Machop. Yes. Go Machop. Okay. So, um, let's try back to the Sword and Shield. We're just jumping all the way around here. This is the Dollar General pack. And, uh, we'll see what we get out of here. Make sure I don't mess this up. Let's see. That one to the back. We got a Meowth, which is definitely a cat. And definitely goes to Bell in the tin. And we got an energy retrieval. This one, it's a nice trainer card. We'll give it to Bell. Oh, and a Marie. Oh, a reverse. Or I'm sorry, a hollow supporter card. Each player shuffles their hand and puts it puts it on the bottom of their deck. If a player puts any cards to the bottom of their deck this way, then draw five cards. Opponent draws five cards. That's cool. So, um, we'll give that one to Bell. The whole the whole pack was for Bell. What's uh what's Stay with our luck and try that one again. So. <clears throat> oh, for all of you that lasted the 16 and 40 minutes, there you go. There's the Rebel Clash one. I'll have to remember that I showed that one already. Okay. There we go. Oh, I messed that up. That's on me. So let's put that one to the back. Flip that around. You already saw that one, but yay. Cute, cute little mouse type. We got a switch card, which is definitely something Bell could use. Ooh, a Rhyhorn. A reverse hollow Rhyhorn. Or, yeah, Rhyhorn. I'm saying that right. I know what I was saying. And that's uh, a nice card we'll put right there. Boom. Um, Still no, uh, nothing crazy, but we'll keep going with the... Sword and Shield. So far, the last two have been straight all bell cards. Like, I got a couple of good strainer cards. Um, yep, I did that one right this time. And uh, definitely some cute stuff. A Goldeen. We got another Switch, which is definitely a bell. And what do we got? We got a Rosetta. We got that one a bell, too. We should have just thrown the Goldeen in there, too. <clears throat> Boom. Okay. I always mess this up. I need to have this facing me, I think. So I don't show. Yep, that's the way it is. Boom. And then we have a diglet. A crushing hammer. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. I'll give that one to Bill. She might like that one. And a Pharaoh seed. Nice. And that is just a common. Okay. Continuing on with the Dollar General. Oh, that was some like glue or something there. Ooh. Electric type. Got an energy and a lantern. Oh, that's the the second we got the the full the stage the basic and the stage one in the same pack. Um in order too, no less. So that's kind of cool. I like stuff when it's like that. You got the you know, because sometimes you get a card and you can't play with it because you don't have the what it evolves from or whatever. So they just took care of us in that play. Dollar General is being very solid today. Oh, we got a score bunny. Yes. Score bunny it up. It looks like he has a band-aid on his nose. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. 
It's a bell card. Got a water type here and a. Oh, I thought it was reverse. It's not. It's just normal. But that's a fox, so Bell gets the cute ones. Cute is an ambiguous term, I know. But basically, uh, if it's something you think the Bell would like or it fits with, basically, if it's a psychic type, it goes in a box too. Not always, but a lot of psychic types are making their way there. It's like a Professor Oak's um, computer. Oh, we got a Mud Bray with his three Pokeballs. That's a bell card. A lucky egg. Only a Pokemon attached to this card. If the Pokemon attached to this card is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, draw until you have seven cards in your hand. Boom. And then we have a Pinyard, which is a common. Doing pretty good about keeping all the trash away. How many of these we got? We still have more. <laughs> Dollar General, Sword and Shield again. Make sure I'm not messing this up. You know what I might try? I know there's a way to kind of like tear these from the the corner. I might try that too. There we go. Yeah. This. Aw, it's the rat. A mouse, whatever. Mouse. And a Poke Kid. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and then put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. Bell. Ooh, look at that. A Drumpa, normal type, and it's the Rainbow Reverse Hollow. Has a little bit of the Dragon Pulse discard, top two cards of your deck. I don't know if I like that, but uh, we are going to put it with the reverses right here and see what we got here. Boom. That's right, it needs to be this side up so I can not show you the cards where they come out. Okay. Goes there. Boom. Got a billabug. Boom. A quillfish and a rhyhorn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get through the rest of these dollar packs and see. We do have a bunch of those blister packs from the Dollar General too, but we're gonna save those, I think. Because I don't know how to open, like, I, I'm not exactly sure how, like, what sets, there's so many different sets in them, and they're like older cards, so I might save them. You got an energy search, search your deck for a basic energy card, reveal it, and then put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. Oh, that's kind of cool, I'll do that. And a Quill Beetle. Stage two, 130 um, health. That's kind of cool. Still no, we might have to open. We don't have like, we have, Requaza has like no good friends up here. So we might have to go grab something that I know. You know what? Um, I'm looking around. I think I have a 10 I paid way too much for. I got it at Walmart. Let me grab that one. Give him some give him some uh, support up there. Um, where did I put that at? It's got to be in one of these totes. Oh no! Silly Cobra! And we got a Rayboot and a, ooh, a Bis Harp. It's kind of cool. Steel type. And this is an uncommon 134 of 202. Change order for each of your bench. Oh, okay. Polywar. So this is oh, okay. That's kind of cool. We'll put that with our reverses. And I think I, I'm gonna. Oh, we have this thing too. This is from. Um, let me zoom back out. So this is from I found at Walmart, and I have a story about that. So I'm gonna put that right there so I don't forget to tell the story. So, um, and then I'll try to find that other tin. I didn't think I was going to uh, do a very long video. I was just trying to clean up my desk. And um, so far, it's turning out to be a longer video than I expected. So, um, let's see here. I, I literally sat down to wrap a present. And um, 
figured out I didn't have tape after I sat down. I, I all, like, I've got tape, but I don't have, like, the right tape, like, scotch tape, Fairhorn, and, oh, um, no, what, what, how many snakes do I have to get? Reverse Hollow, Silly Cobra, the basic one. You know what? I'm gonna keep like people believe don't believe me. The snakes, here's here's the here's like one of the other ones. The snakes are out in force. The Dollar Tree snakes. Okay, so we're definitely gonna change something. We're gonna put this guy up here. And uh I don't know. Oh here it is. It has the little squishy wood on the back of it. So this is like ten dollars and eighty-eight cents or something. I have the receipt here somewhere, but whatever. Um it includes um, two uh, TCG or, or <laughs> I can't get it to focus. TCG booster packs, one metallic coin, is, that's what you can hear in there. And then the metal tin and a Pokemon art card showing. If you collect all five of these tins, you get um, a little, like a, what are they called? Panoramic view of all the different, like it's a, like a battle scene. Uh, this one's so far fetched which is probably the the one I like the, the most. He's a bird. He has fur in his name, so we can't really skip that off of there. Okay. So, kind of a nice little tin. Can't really put much in it, but let's open it. I can get it. And we got the coin of Lucario or somebody. Anyways, we'll throw that right back over there. And Sun and Moon. And we have Darkness Ablaze. Okay, not too bad. And then the art card is Sir Farfetch, which we'll put right here. Because I know if we put it right there, we're going to get something good in this tin. And um, not have to worry about the other part. So. Okay, where did I put that? I'm really kind of... Oh, here it is. I found this other tin. This is, uh, I'm digging through the Walmart bag. I thought I got all the stuff out. I did not. So, oh, and this one has the receipt in it. So I can tell you exactly how much that little tin was for. Nope, this is a different Walmart. My bad. Um, the sleeves. This is from, let me see if I can fold this down real quick. So, not this tin, but I paid 20 or 19.87 for poke cards, which is this tin right here, which will open up probably in this one. It has that Flareon GX card in it. Um, I thought it was like $13, and it wasn't, so I was kind of disappointed when I went to check out. But we will we will get to that one here in a second. Set it down. Okay, what do we got? Sun and Moon or Darkness Ablaze? Um, you know what? Let's go this one. Uh, do the one on the right hand. So... How you doing? It's been pretty cold here in Pennsylvania. There we go. Ouch. That's the corner of that. And are these the front words too? Oh, we have a code card. Ooh, something good. Something good. I'll put that right there. One, two, three, four. Oh, I messed it up and I dropped some cards. So they're going to be... <laughs> For, what's the energy? The energy is electric. Oh, water type. Eh, you know, don't always want them. We got a crocodile. We got a bird. We got an XP share trainer. When your active pony is knocked out by damage from your opponent's stack, you may move. Huh. That's kind of cool. We'll, we'll put that in the box. A Lowen Grimer. Oh, well, I'm not zoomed in. I'm sorry. Lowen Grimer. Kind of cool. I like the alternate colors they come with. Um, this one's weird. Look at that. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. So the energy is not filled in. Flip a coin if your head, if your, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Huh. And then pound for three energy and 40. That's kind of lame. I'm going to put it in the bell card because it's a psychic. Even though I don't think it should be psychic. But whatever. Drowsy. Aw. Drowsy just taking a stroll on the beach. It's kind of cool. He's getting exercise. I need to go take a walk later. <clears throat> we got a cute fly. Cutie fly. Fly around. If any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, flip a coin if heads prevent the damage. Okay. 
Ooh, a Sky Mori. It almost looks like it's hollow. It's not, though. I'm going to set that one here, then. Ooh, this one is reverse hollow. Repel. Look at that. Trainer. Your opponent switches their active opponent with one of their bench opponent. Nice. And a Crobat, which is a very playable card. I need to get some the other two. But look at that hollow. Check it. Your opponent's active Pokemon now is poisoned. Put three damage counters instead of the one. Triple poisoned. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then for three colorless energy, this Pokemon was on... If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon in this turn, it does 60 more damage. So 120. That's awesome. We're going to put that right here with the rare and then the reverse hollows. That is awesome. So that... That was a pretty good value. So that was like half the value. So that's like $5 something. Not quite. And let's uh, see what we get out of here. Oh, this is the green pack. So no, no, you can keep your shirts on. It's fine. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Something good. We have an energy struggle gloves. Ooh. The po if this Pokemon card is attached to, has a weakness, your opponent's active, its attack do three more damage. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. I'm going to give that one to Bell. Put it in the tin. Got a Clang. We got a Owl. A Dartrix. We got a Larvitar. Look how... Oh, that's cute. Yep. He's looking... I don't think he's supposed to be cute, but he's kind of cute. So, a Golette. This is a playable card. A flea bass. A ooh, I have not seen this one yet. A purloin. Purloin. Dig your claws, which is ten. And then for two, flip a coin if your if heads your opponent active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Alright, so it's a basic type, so. We got a hippopotamus! A hippopotatas. Hippo, yeah, it's a hippo. And then we have oh reverse hollow. Blah, excuse me. Reverse hollow looks like a dragon. It is kind of a dragon. So how does it have two headed dragon here? And then he has just the one head. That one looks kind of like a head. So maybe he has two heads. Okay. As often as you like during your turn, you can may attach energy, a dragon type energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Oh. During your turn. So you can only do it once during your turn though. And Pitchback fly, Fangs do 130. That's kind of cool. That's a nice card. And a Arcta Vish. Evolves from Rare Fossil. Okay. That is... Oh, that is the, uh, the Rare card. I forgot that we were opening a different pack. Okay, let's open that other tin. So, <clears throat> we got this guy. Let's, uh, let's zoom out. We got this guy. We got these nice little things to rip on, which may not work so well. Okay. Ooh, got some moves to it. We got we got a we got a play sticker, um, <clears throat> which will stick on the desk, and probably have to forget about throwing away later. So let's uh let's try to get this thing off. Na 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 na. Okay, there we go. Like a glove. Okay. It's a nice tin. Um, I don't know why, but a lot of the tins are not squared out off at all. So you get this weird case that you can't really do much with it. But that, uh, the Flareon looks amazing. Um, again, I thought this tin was like $13 or $15. Turned out to be $20. Oh, uh, no, 19 87 So... So put that right up somewhere. Uh, where do we put this at? Put that right there. Won't stay. Oh, no. ah, it's gonna block that. Hang on just a second. Let me, let me try to get this thing. So we have one, two. Oh, we got four booster packs. So yeah, it's kind of kind of worth money, or kind of worth money. Not really. I don't know. I'm gonna say. If I would have known it was twenty or nineteen dollars, I'm gonna just say twenty dollars because it's easier for me. We got Steam Steve, Sun and Moon, Cosmic Eclipse, two Cosmic Eclipse, 
and the cards are very like they feel like they're wet or something anyway but here is the flareon gx which i thought was awesome oh we're not zoomed in boom zoom in we got heat stage you may attach up to three energy cards from your hand to your pokemon in any way you like is it this it doesn't say this pokemon it says your pokemon so it might be anything and then discard two energy from this pokemon when you do bright flame for 190 damage wow that is a neat card so that's going to go in the tin for bell oh actually hang on let's put it let's put it here no can i i don't think i want to pop it up you know what we'll put it we'll put it somewhere we'll put it sideways <laughs> we'll put it right there can we work with that i think we can work with that maybe okay it's my my desk is getting too cluttered okay we'll put it somewhere else we'll put it right up here i can't really see it there though um i don't know if we can take this out without bending this thing though oh, there we go oh that was too easy okay now i'm gonna throw that away boom so there's that oh it is a promo card i can see it down in the corner it says promo right on it nice but still a very neat card put that one right there actually let's put it in the sleeve i've been i usually try to sleep after i get everything done but put that in a sleeve boom so <clears throat> Definitely takes the, the whole sting of it away. So we got Cosmic Eclipse, two of them, Sun and Moon, and let's see. Let's do the Storm Siege. Everybody hates the Storm Siege. I don't, <clears throat> I haven't opened up enough to actually have an opinion, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in here I don't know anything about. So anyway. Okay, we got that one. And let's, uh, one, two, three, that's four. I don't know why I skipped one. Nitto King, nice. And it's a psychic type, so we'll throw that in there. We need some Nidorinos there, or Nidor, whatever. Tangled Growth. I've seen this card once before. I think it only comes out of the set, so. Special charge, shuffle two special energy cards from your disco part into your deck. Ooh, that's that's valuable as a trainer card, so we're going to throw that in here. Ooh, I thought it was the snake at first because I saw like this. It's not. It's just the shield on. Okay, we're good. You're, you're allowed. You're, well, they're all allowed. I don't know. We got a Joltik, basic. Uh, is that cute enough? I don't know if that's cute enough. Mm, okay, we'll take the risk. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be on the safe side. Oh, I think I messed up. Got a Tangela. This is the dude that evolves from the other dude who's playing a dude. Anyway, got an, uh, ooh, that's kind of cool. That's cute, right? An Oshwat. And then we got a, ooh, reverse. I thought it was almost a full art. It's not. Reverse Hollow Manatee, which I'll put right there. Boom. Reverse Hollow Manatee. It's very, it's very shiny. Blue is probably my favorite color. It, 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 de it depends on what kind of blue. Okay. So I don't like um, real, like a royal blue. Not my most favorite. I kind of like the lighter blue or some people say it's teal. Well, it's teal, it's teal, I guess. But, you know, that's, that's what I, which I, oh, I didn't do the trick on this one sorry one two three four put those ones in the front we have a dragon type energy which we have now we have two dragon type energies <clears throat> we got a a plumyra plumeria plumeria anyways discard two cards from your hand if you do discard an energy from one of your opponent's pokemon I don't think that has very good value because you got to hurt yourself twice before you hurt themselves once. And we already have another card in there. We got a Steedra. We have a Rotom Dex. Look up, look the top four cards of your deck, then put them in, in back in any order or shuffle them into your deck. Interesting. 
We got an Inkte, a Dewpiter, a Tangela. Well, we've had like a couple of Tanglas, a Hoot Hoot, which is a bird, Sandy Gas, and ooh, a reverse uh, Pamasan, Pass a Man. Ooh, I messed that up. I want to loosen up on it and it fell off. So our rare card is a, a meow stick and it is a rare and it's 60 out of 147 psychic type. That is cool. Definitely a cat meow. It's right in the name. So goes into 10. Okay. Now, oh, we got two more cosmic eclipse. You know what? Let's open up some of these. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Rebel Clash. Real quick, because that's what we started out with. And then we got sidetracked. I got sidetracked. You guys are fine, obviously. <clears throat> Boom. And then put that one to the back. But we got, uh, we got some... Oh! First, this is the claymation. I already threw one of these into the Bell's tin. So I'm going to put that one in the Bell's tin, too. We got the Papal Toad, Palpy Toad, Papal Toad, and a Metis Pod. Ooh, look at that. Reverse. And that one is 02. That's the same one I put up here earlier, if you can see. And I'll put that one in the sleeve, too. So that's kind of cool. I've got both. Ha! Um... And let's see. I'm kind of excited about the sleeve because um, I, I want, especially some of the nature cards to be not in a box. Um, I want them in sleeve in the in sleeves, but in a like a nine. What are those called? Like nine protector things. Ooh, uh, you probably didn't see it. Never mind. <clears throat> Low toad got a shell out and a Santa. Claus. <laughs> uh, Santa Conda V. Why is it that? Hey, if you need snakes, hit me up on my Discord. Um, because I have snakes, bro. I got mad snakes. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't even know. I think I have this. I this exact card. I have three of. At least this is at least at least two. I'm pretty sure I have three of that card. But full art, um, yeah. And I also have the other kind. Is it the VMAX card of that or something? I think that was my first one that I pulled. Anyway, <sighs> what can you do? You know, I don't want him above Flareon. We'll put him behind Flareon. There we go. So, <clears throat> I don't know what it is about snake cards. They, uh, and we had a bunch out of... Um, Sword and Shield, and then this is the Rebel Clash. Why am I not getting all the cards? That was weird. Rebel Clash, and I just, I just can't win. I'm just getting snakes all day, all day snakes. Oh boy, Capacious Bucket, and a ooh, a Grim, Grim Snarl. Nice. Put that right over there uh, with the hollow. That is a oh, it is a rare. So I'll put it in that pile. Uh. Cosmic Eclipse. We have two Cosmic Eclipse to open. And I will think that might be the end of the video. Unless we get something really good and I'm whatever. But I think I, I'm going to get some uh, lunch and do the whole... Ooh, Alexio. Cute. So cute. I like the artwork. We've seen a bunch of these. But then we have, oh, a hat. Hat. Hatrin. Oh, that's weird. It's, um, can you guys see that? It is bleeding on the edges. Or maybe it's just supposed to, it's definitely bleeding down below here. That's kind of cool. I'm going to put this on a sleeve just in case it's not supposed to do that. We got Mind Hat. Let me read it after I get it into the sleeve. Okay. <clears throat> 150 damage, and it's still... It is definitely, it, it, this is that matte, double matte card, so it's hard to see it, but that's kind of cool. 
It's a rare, hollow rare. Okay, ability. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Each player discards a card from their hand. Your opponent discards first, okay? And then for one energy, put one damage count on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Wow. Okay. So you go half through the thing and you rip this thing out. It can do some damage. Very nice card. Interesting. Interesting effect. Has that 150 uh, HP too, but you'd have to have the other two cards. So I'm going to cover up the snake with that. There we go. Uh, can we move it over a little bit? Boom. Hatrine. Okay. <clears throat> oh, if I take that one, these are all going to fall, aren't they? Can I move this somehow? Can you just stay there? Okay. They're going to stay there. We've, we've come to an agreement. They're going to stay there. They're not going to fall over. And they are definitely going to fall over. I think. Yep. I told you they were going to fall over. And actually... <laughs> Um, I did this thing where I'm looking through, uh, the cameras, whatever. Oh, there, there goes Flareon. We're just going to let them all fall. It's fine. But I was looking through the camera and I saw them start to go down. And I did this thing where I, I like tried to catch it with my knees because it wasn't going to fall off the table or the desk. I got a hit to file, a dragon energy, which is the third type of, oh, Wow. Wow, we got a Rillaboom Full Art V card. Nice. Okay, we are back in business. Where's the sleeve? I have all these sleeves very nicely thrown about myself. And um, this is what we got. Okay, nice. Rillaboom V. Nice. And... Definitely cover up the snake with that guy. Nice. Evanes. Evanes. I need to throw some junk away here. Okay. So I'll let you. Is that zoomed in? No, that's not zoomed in. Look at that. I have made. Like, oh, we need to do these two backs too. Before I forget. Before I forget. Because uh, my forgetter is better than my remembering things sometimes. Okay, let's let us go. Okay, good luck, guys. Good luck. We got a bunch of cuties on this one, but they are they look like they're mad. I feel that we've got some good cards in here for Bill. I feel this. I feel it. Oh, if I do it that way, you can see that. Let me put the top up so you can't see the top. And I'll do this. Oh, that was weird. It was backwards. That card was backwards. <clears throat> okay. If I can get them out of the package any day. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. And to the front. Okay. We've got a steel type energy. We got Will. Now, what does Will do? Will. The next time you flip any number of coins for your effect, a trainer, ability trainer, this this card, or card, this turn, choose heads or tails for the first flip. Okay. Interesting. You know what? Oh, shout out to Will. Um, Will um, at the barber school was the name of the gentleman who cut my hair last. And he did a pretty good job. I'm not going to show you how good of a job he did. But he did a pretty good job. We got a Mimikyu. It's a cute one. Wants to be Pikachu. Pers impersonation. Discard a supporter card from your hand. If you do, the effect of that card has the effect of this attack. Oh, okay. Choose two of your opponent's Pokemon to put two damage counters on them for mischievous hands. Definitely a bell card. She's got mischievous hands. Ultra Beast, blah, blah, blah. We got a Psyduck. Our first Psyduck. Hashtag the real breaking Nate. Aw. It's so cute. And a cute card. Um, he's a common. I'm going to put the Psyduck right here beside the Metapod. That's um, for me. We got a Trap Pinch. Kind of cool. An Oddish. What is this? This is uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Okay. We got a bird, a ruffet, 
And no, we don't make birds fly away on my channel because I am Bob White. Literally, that's my name, Robert White, Bob White. And so I think that the birds need all the rest they can get. So, oh, we got a tangled growth. And he looks like a golem, doesn't he? Reverse hollow, grass knot. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy or each what, energy on your opponent's active Pokemon reach recost. Okay. Huh. That's a that's kind of cool card. Oh, I need to put that with the reverses. And then we have a Drompa. And I think this is the evolution. This is the dragon type. We did get this other card. Where did it go? I'm searching the deck. Bisharp. We got this card. Oh, we got we did we get it's the same card. We got a Drompa and a Dropma. Okay. He, yep, he looks the same. I thought maybe he was the evolution, but it's not. Interesting. So, we'll put those ones right there. Put these cards back in the pile. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, that's weird. There we go. And we got one more Cosmic Eclipse. This came from Walmart out of the tin. Oh, uh, no, the Eevee tin, didn't it? This came from the Eevee tin. I almost showed you the wrong tin. But uh, shout out to our good friend, not Eevee, Flareon. Well, he's an evolution of Eevee. At one time, he was an Eevee, right? Right, can I get some? No? Okay. I don't think so. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, We might do... I really don't know. Well, we might. This might be the last pack, unless we get something really good and I get a nice jolt of energy from my Pikachu. So, you know. Anyways, energy fighting type. Thanks for watching. We got an Iggly buff. Aww. <laughs> Under that dark moon, sleepy voice. Once in your turn, you may flip a coin if heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. This ability, if you use this ability, your turn ends. Can this be benched? I don't think so. I think it has to be active. That's kind of cool. Very cute. First time I've seen that card. Ooh, we got a Pyroar? Pyroar. Evolves from Leto. Aw, look at the little guy. I think this is the one that we've been putting in there. I didn't realize it was a fire type. I thought it, the other one was a uh, normal type. That's a bell card. Oh, okay. We got some nice, a nice Pokemon here. Dragon type. Very cool. We got a Hepto tile. We have a Cosmog. Interesting. Unaware prevents all effects from your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. So it still does damage to it. Surprise attack. It is a basic. It is a psychic type. So we're going to get that. We got a Slugma with different artwork than in, is, a, is in my Charizard deck. Singe. Okay. We got a Whalmer, which or Whalmere, whatever. 120. I think that's someone's drawing. Does it say illustration by this gentleman, I believe. Okay. Kind of cool. Oh, too many. Nice. Another dragon type that we have seen before in this opening. And also we have the stage one of this card. Oh, reverse rough it. Definitely a bell card. Nice. Got that rainbow effect too. It's got a big star. That is our common. And then what we got? We got oh, an Ultra Beast. A Blast Phalon. Yeah. 110 damage. We're going to put this one in there. Whoops. Messed that up. And then put four damage counter in front of your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If your opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining put 12 damage cards on wow okay that's kind of interesting 
first one I've seen something like that. That's very specific. What are the chances you would ever use that card to its maximum potential? But we are not hating on it. We're going to put it right there. Okay, guys. Um, Let me check the box. Oh, we have more Cosmic Eclipse. I forgot all about this. We are at 55 minutes, so you're going to have to tune back for me to get these to open up because I don't want to go over an hour. Hour is too long for a video. And uh, I'm going to get something to eat and then clean up my spot and then um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I can't do the thumbs down so well. But um, if you like it, comment. Um, I'll try to include my Discord if you want some of these code cards. I would put them in the video, but if I put them in the video, then I can't control like if one person steals them all. But I do want to give most of these code cards away. I'm saving some for Bell. So let me know. But uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.